discovered there weren't any paving stones in North America. I went and visited uh, a fellow who was making paving stones in Zurich, and he led me on to a gentleman by the name of Fritz von Langsdorff in Germany. And I brought him over to Toronto and I got a license to make Unistone. And then the fun began. Bought the land up in Barrie, put a small plant up there, and started making Unistones. And that was the beginning. In Europe, they did a great deal of commercial work. With that paving stones, Fritz took me to Mercedes-Benz in Stuttgart, where they had done the entire storage area for vehicles and parts and things, and it was all done in Unistone. And the reason they did it is that when they did it in concrete and asphalt with a point loading, it cracked that product. But with a Unistone, it worked extremely well. And this was always sort of our sales effort of what a great product the Unistone was. What we needed was an opportunity to display that. And one day, uh, I was driving with our sales manager, Gordon Ritchie, uh, in Yorkville, and we happened to pass the fire hall just down the road here. And they were busy building it. So I said, stop the car, Gordon. We'll make a call here. He said, Ed, you don't have a hope of anything with these guys. I said, that's the city. It takes them months and months. I said, oh, we'll give it a shot. So I took a uni stone and one of our little brochures and walked over and found the guy in charge, had a chat with him. Turned out he was European and he knew about paving stones. Loved the idea of putting paving stones in the fire hall so much that he went down to City Hall. Next thing we know, we got an order to do the fire hall. And that was terrific, because that gave us the best test site you could imagine. There we got this beautiful reconstructed fire hall with big fire trucks running over our pavers every day. And you can see how well that worked, because 40 years later, those stones were still there. My name is Paul Halls, Toronto Fire District Chief 31. I'm a proud member of Toronto Fire, have been for 38 years. I joined the job just after the original bricks were laid in this platform. They've endured for over 40 years. Over 250,000 emergency responses in that time have come out these doors across this platform. The, the stones have withstood so much pounding. The aerial truck or the ladder truck weighs over 35 ton. So rolling in and out for a quarter million responses in the 40 years they've been here is huge. We need good equipment, we need good material. Part of that is a good platform. The thing for us is durability. So the way they're built, way thicker, they'll withstand the pounding of the trucks. That means something to us, because we, we need to rely on this. It doesn't matter weather, time of year, doesn't matter. We need this to survive. It was nice when the stone needed to be replaced, they put together a team of people to actually think about the history of the hall and how it ties into Yorkville. So they wanted to build in durability as well as the history. And our fire station's proud to be one of the oldest buildings. My name is Brett Hornert and I work for the Planning Partnership in Toronto and I am a landscape architect. The Planning Partnership was brought on by the Yorkville BIA to develop a master plan for the revitalization of Yorkville, Canada's trendiest shopping district. We were looking for a paving stone for the streetscape that was sophisticated and contemporary and would meet the City of Toronto's requirements for durability. The original Unilock pavers at the Fire Hall on Yorkville Avenue are quite a testament to their durability. The durability of the pavers was of the utmost importance, primarily for two reasons. One, we're in a roadway condition, so we have buses, we have fire trucks, and we have uh, vehicular traffic moving through the, across this road all the time. And so we needed something that would be able to withstand all these loads. Working closely with the reps at Unilock, we chose the promenade plank paver with the Umbriano finish because it provided both the aesthetic we desire as well as the durability and longevity that we needed. Unilock was a great partner through the design phase. Um, they not only helped us choose the color, the paver size, and the pattern, but they were also anticipated potential issues down the road. Um, and this helped during the construction phase when they were on site uh, helping the contractor, making sure that the paving installation was as high quality as possible. So we're continuing to work with Unilock on phase two and it's, it's really exciting to see it come together because although we had unit pavers in the roadway on phase one, on phase two we have it from building phase to building phase. We made very high quality paving stones from day one and we continue to do that. What I find very gratifying is sitting here at this moment on Yorkville Avenue, down the way is the fire hall, and out this window, they are doing the entire Yorkville Avenue 
from Young to Avenue Road in Unilock Paving Stones. That's pretty nice. Quality is number one. It's how we've built our business over the last 40 odd years. Quality and people.